All right, folks, welcome back to the latest and greatest installment of the Breaking Series where golfers with varying handicaps take on championship courses. Subplot, it's challenging. This time we're at Muirfield, the original Muirfield, not the one in Ohio, the one in Scotland. This old Tom Morris masterpiece spans 180 acres, that's a lot of acres, that's more than I thought, of Scottish Lynx land. It has hosted 16 Open Championships, and it will host its 17th when the 2022 AIG Women's Open kicks off later this week. Let's introduce our players. First up, Bella Angel out of Essex, England. She is a golf influencer, and she's attempting to break 90. I started playing golf when I was two years old. So pretty young, she'll be a lot better than I am. I'm a little bit nervous to keep score today. I haven't, haven't marked a card, haven't put in a card since 2015. And so I'm not really too sure kind of where my game is at. I want to break 100 though, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Less than 100. <laughs> Josie Baker from Los Angeles, California is a student at the University of St. Andrews. Josie's goal is to break 80. It's just such a cool opportunity to be able to be here at Muirfield and play in a group with all women, especially because it's something that just a decade ago we couldn't have done. It would be really amazing if I broke 75, but my goal might be to break 80, just so we don't set ourselves up for disappointment. <laughs> Lucy Simpson from Belfast, Northern Ireland. She works on the golf development team with the RNA but she doesn't have any inside intel. She's gonna to try to break 77 today. I think it's gonna be really fun to see how we play and then compare it to what, what happens in August. You're gonna to get to see the best in the world right here. And it's only right that they get the best courses in the world. They're the best players in the world and they should have the stage that they deserve. And Clara Young is a professional out of North Berwick, Scotland. She's attempting to break 75. My parents play, my grandparents play, and I live just along the road in North Berwick. So there's a little par three, nine hole course. I started playing on that with my family. And then from there, just loved it, so kept playing. I for sure love the challenge. Anytime I can play a good golf course and a hard golf course, it's a great day. And just, just to be out here on an open venue is really cool. I would love to shoot under par, but we're playing a tough golf course, so if I can shoot 74 or better, then that would be a, a good round today. Stay tuned for all three episodes to find out who breaks Muirfield and who gets broke. Very excited for today. The breaking series is something that's really interesting to a lot of golfers around the world because you're playing a course that almost all of them will never get to play here. And beyond that, everyone watches the tournaments on TV and they wonder, how would I do? And so you're in the position to be able to show them that, which is like really special. So whether you play your best or your worst, it's still an experience that's super valuable for everybody watching. All right, so who's going first? Yeah. All right, getting into the flyovers, one of my and maybe your favorite parts of this series. Gonna do something different this time. Beth Allen, my friend and co-host for this, also a pro golfer, played on the LET, the LPGA, many opens and other majors, is gonna do the flyovers for us. She's gonna talk about the nuance of the holes here at Muirfield. Here's to Beth. Welcome to Muirfield, also known as the Honorable Company of Edinburgh Golfers. The first is a challenging hole into the prevailing wind. A tee shot to the left half of the fairway will provide a clear approach to the green and players must avoid the inviting C-shaped bunker left of the fairway. The green merges with the fairway and is one of the flattest on the course. All right, big nerves here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous and I'm watching it. I'm not even playing. I wasn't playing that day. People have been watching at the clubhouse. Members, I wanna see what's going on. Random Golf Club comes to town and Bella out the gate. I'll tell you what, that's a long golf ball. Josie's second up here. I mean, this is gonna be the tee. Nice shot. So opening hole has a lot. We can be sure you've heard it on the channel before if you listen to the podcast or anything with the architects that we speak to, but the opening hole, you, you really want it to be relaxing. You, know, you don't want it to be aggressive. And Clara Young here. Not what I was expecting. She's shocked. 
She's wondering if someone put like a prank golf ball like in her bag. That's impossible. Lucy, wow, I guess if you work for the RNA, you just hit a straight ball, huh? <laughs> wow. Got it. A little tight. You play here, though? We get to play regularly, yeah. So you know it well. You're going to give me good reads. Yes. Good ideas. You need it, Paul. Been here for the help. 14 years now, so. 14 years you've been a county? Yeah, here? good place to work. Yeah, you enjoy yeah. it. That's good. Sort of hard. The first shot goes in a bunker. Hard shot. That's what you get your, that's gonna mess with your momentum, you know? I feel like if you're watching this in America and you're gonna go to Scotland on a golf trip, like, honestly, just don't hit the bunker on your first shot in the country. You know what I mean? That's the goal. Is this how you like to start around? Yeah, not really. But, oh, got it, Brian. Look at that, got it. It's pretty good considering. That's the that's a PMA that we like. Positive mental attitude. 195 six iron. That thing's gonna kick forward, you know that. I don't know about you guys, but I wanna play golf right now. I'm just watching this, I just wanna go hit the ball. This is nice. Friendly friendly crowd, nothing to lose. Nice. Lovely day for that. Doesn't get any better. 10 out of 10 vibes, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. 10 out of 10 so far. Good vibes. <laughs> nice drive, Josie. Good shot. I guarantee you my grandpa is going to watch this video a like hundred <laughs> times in a week. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. Your line's about four feet on the left side. And downhill. How fast is fast? Probably a ten on the stem. Nine and a half. Nice. I'm not lining fast, but it's straight downhill, downwind, so it'll be a little bit faster. Oh, no idea. First putt of the series on the way, and it oh, is... Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Uh, that's in for a three. I mean, just we weren't even like ready for this. Hold on, oh what's happening? Gosh. On the first hole, too. <laughs> nice. Good job, Bella. I mean, at that point, you're just. I would leave. So we're in a bit of a tricky position here on on one. I hit a really good seven iron, and it's just run a little bit long into this bunker. So now I've got a tricky stance. Ooh, that does look. That does not look fun. Wow. Well, I'll take that for yeah. sure. <laughs> How many 75 footers have you made? Oh, that was every day. Fun. 75 feet. <laughs> I, had, I had 24 paces. That guy looks like me. I. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. Oh. Oh, they're fast. I don't really care about the line either, you know? I'm fine. Like, if someone, if some, if it bothers me when someone steps in my line, I am the one with the problem. Yeah. Oh, wow. Another one. Honestly, a pretty incredible par, a pretty incredible bogey, and, and a really incredible birdie. Josie here. Oh, a non-incredible double. I hate to say it, but it happened. You know, we've got one on each. We've got, we've got par surrounded. Hole number one. It's hole one. Hole oh, one's done. basically just a warm up. So, exactly. you know, now I'm ready to go. <laughs> I say this every time I play the first hole. Hole two is a short par four, but its length doesn't provide as many birdies as one would think. The out of bounds wall along the left side of the fairway tapers toward the green, creeping as close as 15 feet from the left edge. 
Missing left leaves you vulnerable to four green side bunkers. Just keep it straight. Yeah, this is 300 away, so we'll be fine. Uh, Happy with the driver? Yeah, let's go driver. It's a nice little hole. Bella, no one's going to step on a birdie here. In the breaking series. Wow, I mean, it's just the straightest yeah, ball. You know, it's funny, I was talking to her before the round. She's like, I don't practice, I don't play, I don't warm up, I don't care. And I was kind of like, you're about to get, like, this is about to be really painful. And I guess it just doesn't matter to her. I guess when you don't care, you play great. Great move, Clara. I love watching good golf swings. I think that's my favorite part about watching this series is just seeing really good golf swings. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Nice shot. I don't know about y'all. I am relaxed right now. I'm getting settled in now. I've watched a couple birdies, a couple pars. Well, one of each, but, you know, I might go make some popcorn. Do you guys mind if I pause yeah. it really quick? Yeah, oh, no, I'm try. just kidding. Yep. Josie's working the right to left. I always, I always love to see a good right to left shot, too. I don't mind a cut either. You know what I mean? Just something where it's like not excessive. Yeah. Muirfield's got the look on the outside and then in. Constantly changing. Just really wants you to walk around. It's kind of like a labyrinth, you know? Thinking man's course. Thinking man's course. Oh, thinking ladies' course. It's a thinking, is it today it's a thinking ladies' course. Thinking ladies' course. <laughs> a logic ladies' links. Probably the second most people I've ever had watch me was yesterday, actually. In the Saint, what tournament was that? It was a St. Rule trophy right. in St. Andrews. Andrews. Yep. It's one of the bigger, like, Scottish amateur events right. for ladies. 88, I'm thinking. 65, 70. All right, second shot's on the way. Chelsea, light bit of rough there. Hmm. Should work all right there. Bella, similar angle, ball above the feet. Left the screen portion. Also the same shot, Lucy. That sounded a bit heavy. You should have brought my dog. Yeah, you should have brought your dog. Would that have been allowed? Yeah, I remember bringing the dogs out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've got 57 front edge. 20 okay. <laughs> Brings 21 on. Okay, so... Oh, 78. Okay, here's the deal. I gotta steer this away from dog conversation. He's like, I saw your dog head cover. Uh, we have a goal. The goal for you we're trying to get you to break 75. I don't care if your dog's here or not. You're breaking seven. You got four bogeys in you. I feel like I gotta bring Snowball to Scotland. I don't know how, I gotta get him there. I'll take a boat, I don't care. All right, we're just going for a two putt here. We're getting back on the, going on the car train now. <laughs> Wow, can Bella do it again? 65 feet, she's closer. You would think you think it's more likely. I feel like I would need to say something to you, but. <laughs> How does it feel to walk up to a green with putter in your hand? Is that Amazing, yeah. Makes the bag lighter for Brian as well. We're gonna tote it down, but remember that we're going up the hill. <laughs> you know. Okay, cool. So I think you have a good cup and a half to two cups. Okay. So Yeah, I don't know. Something about this shot's really making me want to play golf, too. Just, you know, when you feel like you can make a putt? I don't know if you have that feeling very often. Every once in a while, I get the feeling like I can make a putt. I mean, even that, like... Oh, oh man! Good bogey, right? I guess unless it's a par five. That's what they say. That's what they tell me. Ooh, man. Had it if you hit it. Good pars. Uh, that's so. That's amazing. Her pars look like my doubles. What is that? Oh, what? All right.
interesting having four players. It's a lot. It's a lot of material. Nice. Lucy just chilling. Of we'll take more of those, please. I'm sure you'll get lots. <laughs> I like your confidence in me. All right, folks. Sorry to pull you out of the video here, but I have to tell you about something. Literally, contractually, I have to tell you about Athletic Greens. Not only was I a customer before, I'm a customer now. I drink this stuff all the time. I love it. There's a lot of reasons why. Uh, gut health, balance, and mental health. Yes, it does change the way you think and feel. Mostly because you're doing something good for you that actually clears the clutter out of your kitchen. Nutritional supplements, it's not my jam. But drinking a nicely packaged green powder, that's my jam. One thing I dislike about nutritional drinks also is the taste. This tastes like, it tastes like if you were to take grass from a beautiful rainforest in Hawaii and then mix it with like just something sweet but natural. Um, that's pretty much what it tastes like. And you can put it in your suitcase for weeks and it's fine. I've incorporated Athletic Greens and AG1 into my morning routine to help support immunity and sustained energy throughout the day. That You can tell that I'm energetic, right? So I cut my hair, by the way. I don't know if you like it. Anyway, uh, go to athleticgreens.com slash RGC to get a one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for making today's videos possible. Hole number three is another short par four with a fairway that shrinks down to a small neck towards the green. The best course of action is laying up before the fairway shrinks down and hitting the approach along the length of the green. You're going between the two bunkers. Yeah, just straight on. Yeah, they're cool. about 280 down okay. there. Okay, so. yeah, we won't get there. <laughs> I wish we would, but I don't think we will today. <laughs> You're lucky if it flies like 220, 225 into the right. wind. Okay, that's fine. Um, Don't you love when people just yeah, know what their ball's going to do? Your approach is better for the left-hand side. Okay. If you go down the right, you're going to leave yourself a blind second. Right. So. I don't know that game. People are like, play it up the left side. I'm like, dude, 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 dude. Just let me swing, okay? <laughs> yeah, the best landing area is right center. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We're not even talking about the fairway right now. I'm just trying to get the ball like in the air, left of my body, relatively straight. Yeah, good ball. Yep. <clears throat> I don't feel comfortable over the golf ball. This is why I'm not in the breaking series. This is why Bella's over here. I mean, look at her. She's even par. I'd be three over right now, looking for a ball, talking about my dog. Caddy's like, all right. Look at that. Yeah, lovely. Just yeah. money. Yeah. Planes don't even fly that straight. I wonder if Josie can hear that crow, or is that just us? Do we pipe that in? Is that Disney? I've heard that Augusta, they pipe in. Sorry. Nice shot, Josie. Um, four great drives on the third hole. We we're warmed up, and we're winding our way. Eric, do you have any advice on um, understanding accents? My caddy sometimes. Oh, well, your caddy, I can't understand at all. <laughs> Top dog in here. We're going to go and get Sorry? We're going to add subtitles to the video before. Yeah. Bless it. Yeah. <laughs> good caddy, though. Anyway, that uh, wind shirt is uh, on randomgolfclub.com right now. Go check it out. The monogram wind shirt. It's heavily underpriced just because that's how we do it. Watch out. We're probably going to raise the prices soon. So you might as well get in there now and get it. Yes. <laughs> I'm one over after two holes, but I've just winged it left, so could be looking at a high number here. 141 into the wind. 140 is usually my eight iron. Throwing on a little snare drum here, maybe a little mystery like New Orleans, like uh, what's that show with Matthew McConaughey that was really good? True Detective music right here, like 
looking for the bowl. Like, here we are, like, you know? Should we ditch it? Nuts. Should you just go that way? How much you can do with that, is it? Yeah, just hit like a lob wedge and go a little bit left of it. Watch your wrist. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. That ball, that was like a skipping stone, you know? I love it. You know, when you're a pro, you can do a trick shot like that. She's going to make a par. Is that a good confidence booster? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you'd call it a confidence booster, hitting it deep in the rubbish, but... <laughs> but getting it out. Yeah, getting it out. I don't know who did that interview, but so you're looking at that, like was, that, that was kind of passive-aggressive. Simon's a bit of a... He's a burner. Simon will burn you even when you're doing good. That sand at Mirfield is extra fine. Commit to the show. Bella's pissed. <laughs> First person to break a club, I'm calling Bella. That's got to hurt. Yeah, so these greens are tricky because they're not, like, obvious. They're, they kind of look a little flat, and none of them are. Oh, man, I thought Claire was going to make that one. Right here, my least favorite putt in the world. A makeable putt. <laughs> That's what I don't want, you know. Put it, put it anywhere where people would like not really watch. Terrible for me. It's like all of a sudden my fingers turn into uh, chicken nuggets, you know. I like bogeys except full from there. <laughs> Hole number four is played from an elevated tee box to a plateau green. Front of the green falls away, and any shot to the front will put the player in danger of finding the sand or a deep hollow at the green's front edge. And up and down from the hollow is very, very difficult. All right, Bella, wearing the watch while she plays. I like it. I don't personally do it. I've done it. I'm just afraid I'm going to break the mechanics. So mostly, you know... I'm, I just live in fear, so there's that. <laughs> Clara Iron on the T, 185. She's got like a thousand hole in ones, you just can tell, you know? All right, Josie, looking for a good one here. Three wood. Uh, yeah, it's a, everyone's like kind of pushing it out over the right. All right, so we've hit a pretty well struck three wood there, but it went a little right. We're not in a bad position though. No bunkers, no gorse, so we're, we're looking good. It was a good bogey at the first, decent par at the second, unfortunate double at the third, but it's early days. Yeah. Still playing Muirfield, so. <laughs> How beautiful is this golf course? Nice views of the sea, the sun shining today, playing golf with some amazing go golfers. No complaints in this camp. I'm having a good time. I feel like it's snack time though. Oh, we're on four. Yeah, <laughs> snack time. <laughs> How many times have you played here? 
think six, I think. Yeah. So that's not a lot for just living along the road, but it's not like an everyday thing to come play. <laughs> Windows screensaver there. They have it in Scotland too. Sit down, she says. Lucy is the she's very good at quickly communicating in few words. And she did it there with no words. Alright, so we're looking to hit a little Scottish shot here. It's a bump and run with a five iron and just hit like a little swing, almost like it's a putt. And it's just gonna go and turn left and go in the hole, of course. <laughs> I like it. Sort of golf insights from Steve Irwin, very simple, I like it. Five iron here from 80 feet. She's got the read right. Does she have the speed right? Um, uh, just overdone it. Yeah, maybe it's six okay. Thanks. Those, I think, are the harder shots. I love when you go to Scotland, like, just at a six iron, you're like, I'm 100 feet away. There's nothing that I feel confident with at this distance. Clara feels confident with any club. Thanks. Look at that. Got to pass the home. Clara's resting heart rate must be like 42. She like, I'll bet she's like, it's 6 p.m. and she's like, I'm actually asleep, but she's driving. Just the most relaxed person ever. That's the kind of person that you want to be stuck in an elevator with. Problem solver. Maybe also slightly entertaining. Probably has a good memory about some information. Might even know how an elevator works. You never know. These kinds of people, you know? Wow. Hammer time. <laughs> this is the shot right here, right? Can we get it on the comeback? Didn't quite hold the line. Three putts are frustrating. I think that's anyone can agree on that. I wouldn't mind. I would much rather make a triple where I one putt, like, and I just go all over planet Earth for like an hour than hit the green and three putt. You get it. You get it. I don't want to putt a lot. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't want to putt around. That's the phrase. Oh, the suffering's over. <laughs> it's finished. I'm out of breath. <laughs> What's the origin of putzing around? It's got an origin. It's Yiddish. Oh, that's interesting. It means <laughs> 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 Wow. Hole number five is a gettable par five down prevailing wind and will present a chance for the players to get one back. The key is a strong tee shot up the right half of the fairway. The green is protected by six bunkers, so an accurate second shot is required. And if you do in fact reach this green in two, a four is not guaranteed as the green is tricky and multi-tiered. Little hike to the fifth tee. Right, so your line would be got three bunkers up the left side here, so you'd want to be on the left edge of that faraway bunker. And Mr. Business here is putting, pointing out lines. He's holding the dog head cover begrudgingly. We got a par five. It's uphill. I think it's into the wind. Clara wanted that. Honestly, better than better than snapping it left. Left is trouble. Yeah, there's something really. There's a, there's a lot of feelings associated with this round of golf. I don't know what it is, but I'm really wanting to go hit the golf ball right now. Oh no, it's gone left. Yeah, there's just something about it. I've actually experienced some of my best rounds were after watching LPGA oh, events. The, 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 there's just I relate to the swing more. I mean, that ball's landing. It's going to another golf course. There's a golf course nearby. Where's it going to land? <laughs> she knows it's not. She knows that it's in Archer Field. I don't know. Is that what's next door? Renaissance, maybe? 
I think it's Renaissance. How cool to have a bag that says University of St. Andrews. Yeah. Yeah, good drive. That is just a lot of cred. Trying to find another ball. Do you feel like you're totally spoiled living in Scotland and just playing, you know, just really classic, great golf courses? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Do you go to the rest of the world and you're like, ugh. <laughs> Mm, no, not always, I mean, <laughs> but you don't have to travel far, like, I mean, for me, it's like five minutes and I'm at, and I'm at a really good golf course, it's, yeah, definitely Living spoiled. the dream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You just want to get it back into play. That big bunker on the left is about 200 yards for you. It's amazing, because he is a caddy, but he also seems like he's in a movie. Doesn't he have that, there's something about it, it's very intense. His energy is very, it's like a high level of intensity. It looks like Lucy's playing a hickory because of the color of the shaft. Four right. Not too bad. Even the way she says four right, it's just very polite. All right, so we're going with a three wood just over this middle bunker and short of the right bunker and hopefully set up for a good third shot into this par five. Oh no, that's not what we needed. Is that okay over there? Yeah, it's okay. Um, I struggle with a little bit of a right miss. Generally, that's usually my miss. So most of the time, just aim down the left side of the fairway. Um, probably need to aim further left today. But if you can find it, then you just find it and hit it again. Key, key words of that phrase, if you can find it. 162 to that bunker on the left, that bunker okay. 93 yards to the front. Geez, remember when balls were like a hundred dollars? I mean, I don't remember, but they were. Think about it, they had to make them. You couldn't lose them, they were made by hand. So far, breaking Muirfield, I feel like it's an even fight. I don't feel like it's broken me. I don't think I'm anywhere near breaking it, but great golf course. Really, really stunning. A strong start and then just whew, too many putts. So we're coming back, back in the game. <laughs> Put myself in a bit of a tricky position here. If we're in the rough, we're straight into wind. 156. 60. I'll probably take the 170. Okay. I think maybe a five iron there. I mean, she absolutely needs a clean strike. Oh, my hands flipped. Yeah, it's just so easy to do. I'm not going to talk about how the grass grabs the hosel and closes the club face. Well, 128. But if I did, that's what I would say. This is a two-tailed green. If you miss this on the left, you end up all the way over. So it'd be a 130. The odd couple just working their way around the golf course. <laughs> Paul and Bella. Nice ball. I love I love the whiz. That's pleasant to watch. It's nice to watch. For some reason, Lucy's ball flight is just pleasing. Play it pretty much at it. Just a little yeah. bit of film with it, please. Nice number for the club edge. Clara just looking to get up and down for birdie from 70 yards. It sounded great. Oh, yeah, right on it. Yeah, this has got a pretty steep slope on the front here. So gonna have to play a lot of loft with the 58 degree, open up the club face, open up the feet and take a swing at it and see how far I can get it up onto the green. That's a nice shot. That was pretty good. Nice shot, Josie. All right, zeroing in on this par five here. This would be a no putt. Nice par. Good five. Nice par. Oh, hit it. 
Yeah, I mean, I get the feeling like Josie plays to a much higher standard, and I think this is this is one of these examples of just like there's a lot going on. Try and make some more. Put Brady into the wind's pretty good. Lucy, just tap it in a five. All the way around. Around the houses. <laughs> Clara, she's the first pro since Joe Hooks to play in the breaking series. Clara also hasn't thrown up yet, though. So, A-O, Joe, I love you so much. I love you so much. The par 4-6 is one of the most challenging on the course. The tee shot is mostly blind, and avoiding the left fairway bunkers is essential. The fairway has more undulation than the previous holes, and a hidden hollow short of the green makes the pin appear closer than it actually is. This green has a false front and a sneaky bunker on the left known to gather golf balls. Gonna be a fun one, blind tee shot. This is the first time I've actually kept the score and it is complicated. People are hitting balls, trying to get the yardage in the club. I kind of feel like I'm air traffic control at an airline. I'm like, come into land, you're too high, you're too low. I feel like every plane's crashing in my airport. That was the first birdie. Second. Second birdie. See, scorekeeping's hard. Bella birdie the first hole with a 75-foot putt. I walked it off. I did uh, get a haircut the day after this shoot, and then the next day I went to a barber shop and got my beard cut. So this was the longest it's ever been. Lucy, 440. This is one of these tee shots here where if you haven't played here, it's confusing. She dug on that one. That's nice. There are so many feelings in golf. One of the ones I'm swinging hard and hitting it straight is an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, nice Man, Bella just doesn't miss with the with the driver. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Josie's grandfather, I know you're watching here. Let's put one in the fairway for him. Yeah, good drive as well. Nice shot. Thanks. Have you played golf outside uh, the area? Outside of here? Ever, ever, like maybe in America or anything? Yeah, I went to college at the University of Missouri, so. Oh, wow. It's kind That's... of a random one. I'm about to make a joke, aren't I? It's a random, a random <laughs> university. <laughs> Called it. The grass, like. All the, the people there would ask me, oh, what kind of grass do you have in Scotland? I didn't realize there was more than one kind of grass. Um, <laughs> yeah, here it's just one Yeah, type well, of grass. I don't even know what it is. Fescue. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's all you got. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> what should they let us know? What do you what want do you, to know about? How do you feel about grass? <laughs> how do you feel about yeah. grass? You smoke weed? <laughs> I, maybe you do. I did. Do you smoke weed? Uh, no, it's not really something I do. You can't. Yeah. It would Probably be it would be bad for you. Get drug drug tested. She, yeah. she doesn't smoke weed. <laughs> Why am I saying it? What is wrong with me here? I guess let me know in the comments below how you feel about grass, all types of it. Me personally, I love grass, even though I have an allergic to it. So is Tiger. Nice shot. That's a long, that's a long second shot. Yeah. The line's just not great. Straight downhill. I'm going to be tilting this way. It's going to be tough to hit more than an iron, but I think I'm going to try for the hybrid and see how that goes. Oh, no. Kick. Kick. Oh, I think it's kicked back to the fairway at least. So. Brian's great, but he's currently searching for my ball way to the right. I mean, I don't think it was that bad. definitely <laughs> more. It's a good feeling when it's not as bad as you thought and you find it. It's only in like the second cut this time, <laughs> not, not the third cut or off. Typically I experience the opposite. I'm looking for it somewhere like 310 just off the fairway. It's 260 on the other side. Of <laughs> there's a fence. It's the other side of the fence. And then under the fence there's a little creek. And inside the creek there's a dog. There's an animal that's growling at you and he's got your ball. And is there a rule? Can I get a ruling on that? <laughs> I'll just go retake. <laughs>
Bella with a hybrid from 170. You get the feeling like it's going in the hole, even though it's not on the line she wanted. All right, we got 85 yards here. Pretty, a lot of green to work with. Pretty standard shot, so hopefully this will be a good one. Really like Josie's takeaway, you know? It's a good sandwich, by the way. Good amount of butter. I feel like that makes a sandwich. Yeah, well. Considering you didn't eat the day, do you good? I don't have a lot of sandwiches with butter. Go. Don't think butter's an option. It's a good point. Yeah, that is a beautiful bunker. Oh man! Oof. I'll just get that out of the way. Yeah, finish it off. Classic. I like it. Thanks. Scrambling. Claire just hanging out at even par. Love to see it. Good roll, good speed. Oh, wow. Lucy just cozy. I mean, Josie, you deserve that one. Okay. Good pull. Yeah, pretty fast, yeah. On the left? Yeah. On the left? Left. Okay. Oh, let's go. Wow. Great play. <laughs> that was, that means she might need me to get the greenskeeper out to fix the hole. <laughs> Sandwich back in hand. I need more eating content during tournaments. I want to see more of what players are eating on tour. You know? I want to know what they're eating. Four. Lucy. That's two pars in a row. Thank you. What a casual close to a really smooth round of golf. Clara, Josie, Lucy, and Bella all make their way to the seventh tee in the next episode of the Breaking Series at Mirfield for the AIG Women's Open. Brought to you by Random Golf Club Films. <laughs>